Hi traders, this is Matthew from PinescriptMastery.com and today I have a lesson for you regarding bar colors. So I received a question from one of the students in the Pinescript Mastery course regarding how to change the color of bar wicks and borders. So let's open up the Pine Editor and I'll explain the problem that he was facing. So here we are with a blank script. I'm going to call this script PSMC dash bar wick and border color. Then I'm going to set the overlay to true so that this script draws over our price action chart. I'm going to save the script and now we can add it to our chart and it'll be plotting the closing price to the chart. So the problem with changing bar colors in PineScript is we do have access to this bar color function and I could set the color here, for example, to black. If I save the script, it'll change all of my bars to black. But if I zoom right in here, probably really hard to see over YouTube, but the border color of each candle is green and red. So bullish candles have a green border and bearish candles have a red border and the wicks are gray colored. So the bar color function, if I hover my mouse over this, you can see the inputs it takes under the word that says syntax there. So it takes a color input parameter, an offset parameter, an, an editable parameter, a show last parameter and a title parameter, but no border or wick color parameter which means that we cannot change the bar's wick or border color using this function, which begs the question, how then do we change a candle's border color or wick color? So today I'll show you a workaround for this problem. The best solution I found was that instead of using the bar color function, we will use our own custom plot candle function. So this will plot a custom candle to the chart. And if you notice down here at the bottom, we have our wick color, and our border color function parameters. So this function does allow us to change the wick color and the border color. But the problem we're going to run into, which I'll show you in a second, is that those colors must be a constant variable, which means we cannot change them based on conditions, Boolean conditions, which is a problem. And I'll show you why. If we put in our open, high, low, and close price into this plot candle function so that we're just copying price action candles on our chart, and now if we set the color to, let's say, if the close is greater than the open, meaning it's a bullish candle, we'll use a conditional operator here, the question mark. So we're saying if this candle closed bullish, then set the color to color.green. Otherwise, set it to color.red. Now this will compile, and we can't see it on our chart. I'll have to come up to the settings menu and turn off our bodies, borders, and wicks settings in the setting, chart settings menu. If I hit OK, now we are drawing our custom candles and they're drawing green when the price closes bullish and red when it closes bearish. But the problem we now have is if we wanted to copy this line of code and change the wick color based on the same information, now if I save the script, we're going to get an error. So you can see down here, and the reason we're getting an error is because this color, this wick color parameter needs to be a constant variable, meaning that it never changes in our script. So if I were to change this back to say color.red and save the script, it'll compile without any issues. And we now have a red wick on every candle. So what if you wanted to change the wick color and the border color of your candle based on some sort of Boolean condition, such as the candle closing bullish or bearish? Well, the only way that I could think of to achieve this was to use two plot candle functions, one that plots the data if the candle is bullish and one that plots the data if the candle is bearish, both with different constant wick color and border color variables. So I'll show you what I mean. If we just copy this entire line of code and paste it below here, and we can extract this Boolean condition here and then create a new variable called bull candle and paste that in there. So now this bull candle variable will be set to true if the closing price is higher than the open price. So this will detect bullish candles. And now let's just remove these really quickly before I move on to the next step. So now we have two plot candle functions that are identical. And what we're gonna do is we're only gonna plot this one if the candle is bullish, and then we're only gonna plot this one if it's not bullish. And because we can't use if statements with plots, we need to use conditional statements on the data itself. So what we can do here is say, if this was a bullish candle, then plot the open, otherwise plot NA or nothing. And we can do this for all of these 
candle variables, the open, high, low, and close. And I'll drop this down to a new line so that we can see what we're doing here. We can do the same for the second plot candle. So here we'll say, was this a bullish candle? If so, then we want to plot NA. Otherwise, we want to plot the open. So this will plot our bearish candle data, and this will plot our bullish candle data. So if we have bullish candles, we will plot the open, high, low, and close. If we have a bearish candle, we'll plot NA, 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 NA. And this plot candle function will plot nothing to the chart. And then this one, on the other hand, if we have a bearish candle, we'll plot open, high, low, and close. So let's write that out here. And to put that on a new line, change this to say green, leave that as red, change this to say color.green and color.red. And we can change maybe the color of this to be lime, a little bit brighter green. So now if I save the script, you'll notice that our bullish candles have green wicks and our bearish candles have red wicks. And now if we wanted to change the border color of these candles, we can just use the border color function parameter. So here if I say uh, for bullish candles, we'll set the border to color.lime as well. And for bearish candles, we'll set the border color to color.red. So now if I save the script, our border colors will be changing to bright green and bright red, and the candles themselves will be changing as well. And let's change the bearish candles to a darker red so that we can actually see what's going on there. So now you can see we're plotting a darker red here, more of a purple color, and the wick and border is bright red. And we could change the wick separately if we wanted to. We could change this to blue and this to orange, and we can start turning our charts into some sort of children's painting. But of course, there are many reasons why you might want to use this uh, functionality in your scripts, perhaps to detect certain candlestick patterns. Perhaps you want to change the color of the wicks based on how large they are or small they are, that sort of thing. And of course, this is a bit of a, a mess around because we have to turn off our candles, our normal candles on here. If we turn these back on, they will draw over the top of our custom candles. And only when you hover your mouse over certain areas on the chart will our custom candles show up. So it's not the ideal solution for this problem, but it's the only solution I could think of, given the fact that wick color and border color require constant color variables. So the only workaround for this is to use NA for your price data in the plot candle function and just separate your plot candles to address each condition that you want to, in this case, bullish candles or bearish candles. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you found that helpful. If you did and you want to learn more about PineScript, head over to PineScriptMastery.com. Here you'll find my advanced PineScript courses and my basics course, which is free. So if you want to learn more about PineScript, head over here and you'll find out a little bit more about me and a little bit more about PineScript. I hope you found this lesson interesting and helpful. I'll see you in the next one.